let's talk about chargeback. This is your standard enterprise today. Typically on-prem assets in Europe and Americas and data centers around the globe. Every enterprise that I know of also has assets in the cloud. So what we do at Aptar essentially is collect information from those assets wherever they reside on-prem or in the cloud through a data collector in each of these data centers and put that information into a single pane of glass that is Aptar IT Analytics. So how does that help with chargeback? And what is chargeback? Well, chargeback, sometimes referred to as showback or sometimes even shameback, is really, in my mind, giving insights into the owners of the information, the assets here, what the expense is of operating of the, that, that infrastructure. And that's a really hard thing to do. Most of our customers today struggle even just with getting basic visibility into their enterprise, let alone having the precision and the defensible detail within a report that allows them to actually go out and say, this is what this asset is costing you. And that's what our software is helping with. So how do we do that? So one of the key things that our customers want to be able to do is see how these assets are utilized by a business unit. How do we determine a business unit? So there's multiple ways we can do that. We can interface to an external CMDB. So if there's an external source such as ServiceNow that is listing all of those assets and the business units they belong to, we can consume that as part of our chargeback reporting. Other ways we can get it are through tags. So for example, with VMware, we can consume those tags if we're using tags within VMware. And also within our application itself, we have the ability through the UI to go and apply attributes to the various hosts, uh, storage units, even LUNs that we collect and tag them accordingly so that when you go into our application, you can run a report at an aggregated level that perhaps shows you a roll-up view of what finance is consuming versus what marketing is consuming, etc. Within this reporting as well, typically the consumers want to be able to see the tiers of storage that they're utilizing. And by tiers, what I mean is flash is the most expensive, it's the fastest, that's typically tier one. Tier two might be more traditional storage. Is it being deduped or not? We capture all of that information and we can fold that back into the chargeback reporting. All right, customization. I've never encountered a customer who has had an exact uh, chargeback requirement or reporting uh, uh, requirement that has been the same as somebody else's. Everybody's is different. And we anticipated that at Aptar when we put together our chargeback capabilities and we expose an engine that's customizable to let you go and change and tune the chargeback reporting to your specific requirements. So let me give you an example of that. When we were looking at storage, for example, uh, we talked about tiering. What is tier one storage? What's tier two storage? We allow you to define the tiers. We allow you to define the cost for those tiers. We allow you to define uh, cost per storage array vendor or type or speed of drive, etc. All that is exposed. And you can actually type in the numbers, run it through our engine, and you can get a report by business unit of the actual dollar cost uh, for the resources that are being consumed. We talked a little bit about storage as a resource, but we can also track and manage and report on and charge back on compute. And any of the 30,000 data points that we're collecting from can ostensibly be used to either aggregate the reporting or be included as part of the line item of the reports to show that detailed breakdown to your consumers of the cost of what they're utilizing to let them be part of the solution and partner with IT to help lower costs of managing the infrastructure. So a little bit about chargeback. If you want to understand more about Aptar IT analytics or chargeback specifically, be sure to visit veritas.com slash Aptar.